In this video, we'll look at editing audio clips in Clip View. We can double click a clip to get into Clip View, or we can use the Clip Overview panel at the bottom right of the page. This displays the clip's waveform. In an audio clip, we've got a clip panel, a launch panel, a sample panel, and an envelope panel. In the sample panel, we can see the name of the sample, as well as information such as the bit depth, sample rate, and whether it's stereo or mono. When we hover over the writing, the info bar at the bottom of the screen also displays the full name and file path of the file on the hard drive. We can turn on the high Q or the high quality button. This sets the audio to play back in high quality mode, which will improve the sound when we transpose. We also have fade. This will put a fade at the beginning and the end of the clip to stop any popping of the clips caused by the audio not crossing over at the zero crossing points when we cut it. This zero crossing point is where the speaker will sit in its natural position, ready to either have a positive or a negative voltage applied to it. Next we have the RAM button. This loads the sample from the hard drive into the RAM. This vastly improves the performance of the computer when dealing with lots of audio clips. We then have clip gain. This can be edited by dragging on the slider. For more precise changes we can also hold command whilst dragging. We can also enter a numeric value underneath. Clip gains are unique to every individual clip and don't affect the track gain whatsoever. Next we have the transpose function. This allows us to transpose or move the pitch of the audio up or down in semitone increments. We can set this back to default by pressing the triangle button. We can also detune or change the transposition in cents for fine adjustment. 100 cents is the equivalent to one semitone. This also has an arrow for resetting to default. Once again we can either click drag or enter the value numerically. The sound of the transposition will change vastly depending on the warp mode used. This will be covered in another video shortly. We can also reverse the clip and play it backwards, as well as edit the clip with the edit button. This will edit the clip in a third party sample editor as specified in the preferences. Finally, we can save the clip. This will save and write all the clip settings to the clip, so the clip can be dragged into any set with the exact same settings. 